rounds. His professional record, 46 victories, only one defeat, 129 and three quarter pounds. His professional record, 29. Round one scheduled for 12. And, world. and there is that high guard, Chris, that you mentioned. Try to stay defensively sound. We'll see if Farmer is landing jabs and body shots. As Frenois presses full. He wanted to get that respect. Even though Carroll was throwing 1,200, 1,300 punches, he broke box. Landing hard combinations and body shots early. But Farmer able to make the adjustments. Tough fight. And Frenois looks very tentative early on. Is up tense and tight. Is easily able to get away from those shots. Fewer tassels from Farmer than we've seen in the Stop. past, isn't it? I usually don't go the fashion route. Here is those two hold belts as well. It would be fantastic and as it'll make fans work at it. And we could say, look, tonight, Maurice Hooker, Jose Ramirez, both worthy. Oh, four. Uh, depending on the, you got a WBO, got an IBF. You got well, I'm still work for Tevin Farmer is able to fire off shots. Frenois will have to do something different. I don't know if it's seeing this. He's used to see maybe a different type of style. Wicked right hook just barely missed right there by Farmer. And of course, he's honoring Maxim Dadashev on those trunks. Yeah, that, that's, that's not really coming across too nicely right there because it's of no. He just. The rankings here perplexed me. This is a mandatory. It was ordered by the I. A draw. Normally, that wouldn't warrant a title shot. You are absolutely. It's bleeding again. It's hard to stop uh, blood from flowing in uh, one minute. He's going to have to try to change the equation. It's going to be difficult because it's not like you're just not having success. It's out out there that has better speed than he does. And he had a lot more difficulties right now to be hanging with Farmer. Yeah, he's a little bit too stiff to, to get on, Farmer off. Slapping a little bit. Nothing landing right there. Watch the back of the head, Gagnon. Body shots by Farmer. Farmer is a fight like a southpaw, but he's a tough fighter in the inside as well. He fights in the inside, on the outside. Perpetual movement just to get friend to, to react. He'll move it around it. A long jab, but he's not able to find his range. Body shot in the inside by Farmer. Aggressive. If you can catch him coming in, you can't hurt this man. Chris Mannix giving all three rounds. You know, I've seen Farmer go to the head a lot more these last couple of rounds. That feels to me. Kenny's going downstairs with it. And Farmer landing over 50% of it. So this is a big step up at the age of 35. It's the top three, four fighters in a weight class. No, absolutely. And that's what happens when you just keep Perez, what should be an outstanding junior welterweight unification bout. The type of fight that you could see either camp saying, you know what, do we need that? Final seconds of round number four. Tevin Farmer putting in the work in a row after winning just two of his first five fights. Started with a wreck to see how someone can turn their career around and become an enormous. Normally, the, the climb up to the top is going to be even difficult, but that just shows the character. Last March where you're not supposed to be tested. It's someone that shouldn't be at your level and then and Maurice Hooker not needing each other I think they did I think they badly needed each other because if they fall Charlo fight and blow out an opponent now we have Tevin Farmer on the owners we are seeing the best of boxing tonight with two promoters working together to make up each other and then what could have been you know say 20 years ago a great rematch right away at the other IBF top ranked fighters it's probably not somebody you want to see him fight next we got in that sequence and a little impatience in his corner, probably good advice, by not just getting through it, but winning. And by doing that, by getting more aggressive, it's going to get, it's going to open left hand by Farmer. Digging downstairs. Trying to the body in a good range, fires a jab to the body. Uh, stop. Not behind the back, not behind the Nothing right hands by friend, while straight left right there. And he said he got hit low. Oh, yeah. As they both waiting a decent amount of time for the fighter to be ready to come back out. Friend one. Now. Able to land with the left hand, Frenois with a little more. I'm still trying to figure out the strategy of tiring out the fighter that's extremely used. This guy in half wasn't able to do that, but he was able to make it very interesting and make it. Body shots ripping from Farmer. And a right hand, and again. There. Is that Matrix 3? There are three Matrix movies, and you get one more Matrix. Yeah. like that. It's just beautiful to watch. Hardest thing to do in the world, stand right in front of someone, make them miss.
advantage of the new DAZN landscape and has stayed busy. A lot of fighters, you mentioned to me, that was borderline as well from Farmer. Now, I mentioned Farmer, a guy who went through a lot of... Farmer walking down Franois now with no respect, going upstairs and downstairs. Lens. Franois staying out of range now. Dropping shots by Frenois, again, who has a reach and height advantage. Not an awful lot, but a little... Some toughness in him. Like, he, he has... He has confidence and he has this uh, swag. He's out a proud, comes, out skill. He's a proud fighter. You can see the, the pride in his eyes and his face. Triumph up. It's an outstanding unification matchup. Two fighters in their prime. That's the main event. Here are more dominant rounds. Going to the body aggressively, flurrying. He was excellent. Dom hit. They remind their opponents of that, not to get hit. And, and then aggressive. Renoir taking more shots. As you mentioned in the last round, Sergio, he is a man with a lot of pride. Oh, this is his, his last opportunity to become champion. And he moves with his feet, changes eye level, throws different shots, not great variant. Extremely fluid. Farmer here in round eight. And there are some makeable fights for him if he continues working with Matchroom over the next year. Franwan, now the, the change in body language to me has changed. Farmer's backing up, friends. Twice a year is being as active as Tevin Farmer's been. It's not ideal. Visions, and you're, you're a superstar, sure, but not when you're on your way up, or you just have one. At least three times a year. Maybe Farmer's planning that. Fought the top-rated guys until he eventually made himself so appealing that he got some big gear, and you're like, oh, wait, he's back in the picture. You can get yourself out there, and that, look, this is not... Golovkin, we're knocking guys out. Farmer's having to go the distance with these guys. That speaks volume for this champion. So he's coming in saying, well, I, I, I'll stay in camp. You know, Sturgeon, you go from most guys up. Staying busy, staying active, staying sharp, keeping his name in lights. It's me. That's what the main event is for, Chris. Right now we're seeing Farmer staying active. And this is 50 men. He opens up round 10 doing just that. Chris Mannix has every round the champion, Tevin Farmer. Looking really sharp, especially the body. I'm really impressed with the body shots he's been going after. The first one looked border right there. You stay right there. We'll have to see it again. Tevin, over here. Over here. Second one, and if it was, it doesn't matter if you mean it or not. If you did it, you did it. And he takes a point away from him. those body shots taking their toll on Frenois, but he keeps firing. This might be his opportunity. Look, he's winning rounds. He doesn't know us action, but it would be entertaining. Jab landing there by Frenois, and then a left hand, but another good jab there by Farmer. It's an uppercut. Just scraping shots of the body that are even difficult to see. But there, body shot again by Farmer going down low. It's a physical fight. Round 11. I'd like to see him put a... Well, he's frustrated as well. This farmer is going that of conditioning and just what a relaxed fighter he is in the ring that he's able to come. Again, he was able to get a draw with John O'Carroll, who tested Farmer, but Frenois is not a... You know what I enjoy here, Sergio, in this round is that champ comes out, he's... Final minutes. Off the left hand. Missed with that one. Box like champions. Here we go. Let's box. Mark Malloy there with the instructions, and you heard. Now he's up, moving, dancing. See the he's like a he's a gritty, frisky fighter. He's still coming forward. He's being outclassed by Farmer. So Frenois taking a round according to our card, the official card. I actually just gave it up. Yeah, Frenois has been outclassed and at times discouraged. That good one-two combination by Tevin Farmer straight up the middle. And now back with his... The guy that's in charge, the champion in charge, Farmer, he just wants this fight to get over with. This guy wasn't... Right away. But has outlanded Frenois throughout the night, has done the work. A snapping left hand that landed. Late success for the Frenchman. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action here in Dallas, Texas, the champion of the world, Tevin, American 